and welcome to a Blue Strawberry Training video. In this video we'll be talking about how to create a simple static campaign. First of all you need the URL of the post or the website address or the YouTube video that you wish to create into a campaign. So once we have that here you can see I've used a, a blog post from Blue Strawberry. Copy and paste that into create campaign. So just to go over, create campaign, copy and paste, next. Here you want to make sure static post is, correct, is correctly ticked, put auto drip and select the duration of your campaign. In this case I'll say 12 months. Create the campaign. This traditionally takes somewhere between one minute to five minutes, sometimes longer depending on the uh, business of the uh, AI software uh, on the cloud and the uh, server and the time of day. But generally it's done within a minute or so. <clears throat> I've pre-prepared one, exactly the same here. You will see that your, is, your existing one, your new one, has initially the blue strawberry logo put in there, but an image will eventually go in there if there's an image in the article. Okay, so we click on this to start the campaign. On your left you have all of the social medias. There is of course Instagram that you can add as well that you would have added uh, uh, in a different section in settings. But in this particular case we've only got Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. I can choose not to send to one of those just by clicking the X on this like that. In this case I'm going to send to all of them. 12 month campaign can be changed by clicking that in the duration now move on to hashtags. I can see all the hashtags that it's the, the AI software has said, okay, this is what we should be using, but I'm going to remove that one there, and I'm going to put social media in this one. You can add as many hashtags as you wish. The add mentions are there. Now add images. In a later video, we'll be explaining to you about how you can actually edit, a, uh, edit an image by doing this, but uh, on this video we won't cover that. I'm going to upload a second image. There we go. So I have two images now for the articles that have been posted. The actual article itself only has one image, but I'm deciding to put a second image. Quotes. Because I'm doing a 12 month campaign, it's telling me in this particular case I need 12 quotes. It's already generated those quotes for me. I can amend these at any point by clicking on the quote itself and just go in and edit. If I wish to add th further ones, I can just click and unclick other ones. And if I wish to add my own ones, because maybe I didn't, maybe this software didn't generate enough quotes, I can add my own one and then just click it. In this case, I'm going to select another one, so I'm actually having 13 quotes. You must meet the minimum requirements. There'll always be a minimum requirement there on the duration that you do. I will then build campaign. This is the crucial area. You can see it's being sent to these social media networks. The start date is traditionally from zero days. That is the day after you do the campaign. I could set it for today, December the 5th, but I'm going to start it on December the 8th, or I could have just left that blank and it would start tomorrow on December the 6th. Here I can see all the profiles that it's going to, and I can see each individual post by scrolling through. Traditionally, if you use all your social media, you'll find that it will be based on Twitter count in there. So the Twitter count will take into consideration everything. So if I had a lot more text in there, and I can change the text by clicking this here, you can see it changes the count and also changes the, uh, until it gets to a red point. Sometimes you could end up with no hashtags because you've run out of words or character space I should say. So in this case you need to uh, effectively just reduce some of the text. I can change the hashtags. If there was ats I could change the ats and I can change the image. In this case I'm going to change the image. There we go. So I can go through and check them all but if I want to be super lazy I can just press I agree this content 
launch campaign and a campaign will be launched if at any point the campaign has an issue uh, with launching because you might have um, too much text it will come up and say error day 60 um, has too many words too many characters so you'll need to change it so we don't you know that's the process now it will now be scheduled in there it takes a little while to actually schedule the content in general but in this case it's done it very quickly and you can see the campaign starts on the 8th of December and as you can see it goes through and tells me exactly what times it's going to be scheduled now if I go back I can look at other campaigns uh, say let's go back and look at one slightly six month ago process and view the scheduled content and on this what we'll see is you can see you have a green tick next to when it was posted this is a test site so that's why um, this is way before our launch and you can see here I have a tick saying error validating access token <clears throat> that'll be covered in other videos but that basically means my social media just needs to be refreshed and that brings the end of this particular training video very straightforward very easy to do and if I wish to pause this at any point I can pause it and that will bring it back into the works in progress so it pulls it back and it brings it into the works in progress I can delete campaigns very easily I'm going to delete it and done thank you for your time hope this helped more videos to follow